Jackson Women's Health Organization is the only abortion provider in the entire state of Mississippi. They are our clients and they are in the center of Jackson in a pink building. You can't miss it. And they provide contraception and abortion access in the state of Mississippi. Mississippi's 15-week abortion ban is exactly what it sounds like. It prohibits people from accessing abortion after 15 weeks of pregnancy. Because Jackson Women's Health provides abortion after 15 weeks, the clinic and the center decided to challenge the law to ensure that people continue to have access to abortion after that point. This law is blatantly unconstitutional. It goes against nearly 50 years of precedent, and it prevents people from accessing health care that their patients need and that is constitutionally protected. At bottom, the state's argument boils down to the notion that the government should get to control people's decisions about whether to continue a pregnancy or whether to end a pregnancy. What Roe stands for is the right of each individual to make that decision. And nothing has changed in the last 50 years for that right to deserve less constitutional protection than the court gave it 50 years ago. They totally erase the people who would be most affected um, and do not mention any of the pregnant people that would be affected in their state. It is also um, blatantly against the rule of law, and the glibness in which they make this argument is pretty devastating to me as a lawyer. Abortion bans affect all people, period, but they disproportionately impact black people. It disproportionately impacts young people who might not know that they're pregnant, people who have trouble making ends meet, people who live in rural areas who might not be able to travel to the single abortion provider in a state. There are 24 states likely to prohibit abortion if the court decides to uphold this ban. There are states, including Mississippi, that have what's called trigger laws that would go into effect most likely if the court decides to uphold this ban. If the court rejects Mississippi's ban and stands by Roe, what we've done is preserve the status quo. Abortion is still out of reach for so many people and access is not what it should be in many parts of the country. One benefit of the states being this emboldened has been that the conversation in this country has truly shifted. There has been an incredible amount of support from the public. We are more than seven of 10 Americans who support this right. And so the court, no matter what it does, will have to ultimately listen to the public and the power of the people that demand that abortion care is a fundamental right, remains constitutional, and is the sustained right all across this country. Regardless of the outcome in this case, our work will not be over. We will still be fighting to make sure there are state and federal protections that exist so that people are still able to make these fundamental decisions about their lives.